What's up? How are you doing? Welcome to another tutorial on DevStar. So in this tutorial, uh, yeah, we are going to be building the issues in time in CSS. Yeah, so this is what we're going to be. We're not going to be building this. This is what we're going to be building here. So let's just be enjoy it now. All right. So without further ado, let's just dive into it. All right. So let them um, head over to time in CSS documentation because we are not going to be making use of the Notepad packet manager to install time. We're going to be making use of the CDN. Which is the um, content delivery network, I think. Yeah, so that's what we're gonna be making use of. So let's go ahead and just locate the CD in here. Just gonna close this. Uh, oh, sorry, no. Um, yeah, just, I'm not gonna do that here. So using time CSS, that's what I'm gonna do. Before, well, before we do that, let's go ahead and go to our desktop, go to where you wanna create a project. Creating my project in the desktop folder. We're gonna create a new project for the text in the desktop folder called uh, UI. Okay. Uh, the folder is gonna be yeah. So UI, I'm just gonna open the terminal here, and I'm gonna use the terminal to open all the folder in Visual Studio Code. Okay. Good. All right, so once this is actually opened up already, let's go ahead and create a file called index.html. Let's create a file called index.html. While that is creating, um, let's head over here. Grab this stuff, but there's a limitation to the CDN. We will not be able to customize it I mean, default thing. We cannot use the apply the variants. So just check, just check the documentation, read about it, and um, be able to see it. We can use the group for stuff. We can install dot package, dot package, package on plugins. Just read documentation, you will see what I mean. I said index of this time. I did index command shell. Oh, sorry, it's gonna be index dot html. Okay, so what I do is um, let's go ahead and create a boilerplate so we can just mean this UI. So I'm just gonna save this and let's open this let us put h1 sorry h1 uh, hello world okay so let's save this uh, open this with live server so make sure you have the live server extension stored so so the more i edit the more i see the changes it auto refreshes by itself let's go ahead and paste our link here then you notice yeah, so this is already working. I see the styling of the H1 has actually gone. So that is actually the work of time CSS. So we need to build what we want ourselves. So basically, I can achieve the H1 back just by adding a class here, a class of text to Excel. Text to Excel. I can see the text is large already. Then I can go ahead and do font board. I say I have font board already. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, but well, that's all you're gonna be doing here. So let's just delete it. So now time is is um is mobile first actually. Excuse me. <coughs> it's mobile first actually, meaning um is the utilities are based on mobile screen first. So for this situation, you are gonna be targeting just the mobile screen. Okay, so let's just actually let's just, just dive into it. Okay, so this is what we are going to be having. Uh, I think I can just zoom this. Okay, so the first one is um, these two icons at the top. So to do that, we need to let's, let's make this up um, responsive. So I did that was just I did control shift I. There you notice this is actually blue, it is not blue. It's, it's gonna be like this. Only if you want to shift so you have to click on this to bring out the this uh, this uh, font size. So you can select any font size here, or you can just go ahead and just do inspect. So inspect, then click on this space to bring out this. Okay. So what we wanna do is um pick up some icons. So let's go ahead and do arrow icons. So why that is loading? Let's head over to this place and let's create a view. So this div is going to be handling this. So before we check out the pattern, let's go and 
add the flex so because what we need there is a flex with the flex so we need a div here let's say hello then i need another div here for the second icon let's say word so if i should save this yeah i should be having this then i can go ahead and do justify justify between okay, i can see separated already so what i'm gonna do is add um so i'm just gonna put this here some padding at the top so yeah from this place here let's do class equals padding so padding on around let's do padding of eight so padding of four i mean uh let's do eight now let's just do eight yeah so it is good so let's go ahead and pick up the icon so the first icon is a menu bar so let's do menu and i think it's on this one is the one with two two stuff yeah so it's not yet let's just go ahead and pick this copy the svg so in this place i'm just gonna put it here say let's see so we have the icon already then we have it once the search icon Search, research, copy this the same way, paste this, and um, and uh, yeah, boiler. So we've done the first page in just few seconds. So the next one of these, um, this fashion we care okay. So I can select this, yeah. So what one of these is this fashion we care So, um, yeah, so let's just dive into it. So the first thing that is um under this we need a d let's just say at least a padding of 12 because the padding there seems a little bit big i'm gonna show you the padding this padding here you see it seems a little bit big so let's just go ahead and do h1 h1 fashion week fashion week uh let's see Okay, so we have that so it's not padding it should be let's say padding out padding top not we don't want padding all around so padding top okay good so the first thing we need to do is um style let's run a class equals this should be text to excel it's text to excel no it's kind of bigger let's do sales just for excel yeah so we have for excel and again this is bold on board and you want to make it um text purple let's say it's the um, 400 yeah so it's text for 400 good um we we can go ahead and just install the fonts for this to so make it look actually nice so we need um the paragraph to need to question from in paris let's just add the paragraph so the one fashion show in Paris. So we add that. So we need like a little bit of padding. So I can just like add padding top of two over here. So this will act as a box. Okay, so we add that padding. And you notice the text is actually good. So we do class font let's do semi bold so it's not be fully bold so we have semi bold oh, good <clears throat> so the next thing we need is another flex with explore and this icon so let's go down go down there we need a padding the padding top of eight then let's also hello to see each of you okay that's a nice one so we need a flex the other is flex i can go ahead and just <coughs> excuse me add an h1 h1 which is explore then under this div i'm going to add the svg so the svg is going to be let's just use menu because i don't know what no let's let's, let's use this okay save 
So we add this as usual. What we're gonna do is um justify between to separate them. Justify between yeah. So we've gotten this already. So let's go ahead and make this bigger class. This can be fix two XL one should be bold. Okay, yeah, so that is that. Mm, that is a little bit bigger, so let's use three XL. Okay, so that is that. Nice. So what I'm gonna do is uh this tree stop recommendation recommended new model going to the show. Yeah, this is we can also actually be using the flex, so we need like a padding of padding of two. Yes, yeah, so div dot flex. We need a flex. We need a div first div. Let us put in. Okay, first div is recommended. Recommended. The second div is our new models. And the third div is our twenty twenty two. Okay, so let's save that as C. So we have this. So one of these is just the same justify between. Justify between. Oh, sorry. No. Okay, so you'll save justify between. So now refresh this. So yeah. So we've gotten that. So one of these is just like let us put span here. Span span, so we want to make this class of uh, yeah, text purple 400 because it's the only one with the purple there. See, yeah, so the next, the other ones will be bold. So let's just like copy this, this, this here. Uh, Close so instead of purple, let's just do font board. I know I'm just gonna copy everything here. Okay, I'm just gonna copy everything here, paste here, and I'm gonna do 2020 show. 2020 show. Okay, so we've done that. Um, I think the semi board is actually good here. So let's do semi board. Okay, yeah. So the semi board is actually good. Here. So now let's go and pick some pictures for this. Uh, yeah, we need a picture. So I'm just gonna like search for model picture. I'm just gonna pick an image from this place. Um, we need um, how many images we need? We need three image. Um, so we can use this for the for the last of this as um stuff under here. So we can use no, you want the one with the gradients, kind of a yeah. So we can use this. Save save the image. Save the image to your project directory, which mine is UI. So I can just save it as one dot jpeg and two other images. So I can pick this. Save image. If some images are too small, we have to download another image actually. Save the image. Um, let's pick the last one. Yeah, let's use this. So let's save this image. Three dots JPEG. Okay, good. So let's go ahead and do that. So in that case, we need a div dot flex here that takes in. Yeah. So before that, we need a pattern, sorry. We need a pattern top of four. 
in div dot flex here then div so we have two image then another div so the first one do is load the image so the image is um, let's use two dot jpg and image three dot jpg so let's save this and see what happens um, okay so we have so we have this image oh sorry okay so we have this first image showing up minimize um let's just justify between okay i think yeah because of the image width maybe or the other image is not just shown two dots jpeg two dots let me check three dots jpeg this three dots jpeg then okay this is jpeg okay like jpeg jpeg yeah so you can see you can see it's actually it is this on on laptop too so we have these two images and uh, yeah so the first one of these is um just like space x or four so we need a space between them so that space then you can go ahead and do class class rounded large so it's gonna make the image round yeah, it, it maybe it's not like this, but I think that is round. Or oh, let's just check rounded and let's see the size. So we have rounded the same. Yeah, so rounded large is the biggest. I think rounded large. Um, yeah, there is a large here. They are. Now let's try down there full. No, so let's just keep it with a rounded large. Okay, In the same way we're gonna do for this. Okay, so this image is um, not as slant as this. Um, hopefully there will be a fix for that let me just check it out so let's say we have an height of eight percent yeah so we can fix that by height of 60 percent uh as a 50 no so let's do 57 60 sorry Yeah, then you can do width of also, let's just say 40. Too small, let's just 60. On normal notes, you're not supposed to be editing the images like this. So, uh, 90, hopefully. Yeah, so we have this. We have this, actually. Which is getting you can you can see because of the width and height with it so it made the image go away. So I think if we can just like add object cover. So hopefully it just makes it come back a little bit. Yeah, so good. So it is clear now. Alright, so we've done this first and second part. So the last we need these names here. So you can just go down here and just like add a name. So let's do Paragraph Niketa Winia, so let's do Niketa Winia Williams and um, so she's in Paris. Well, hopefully, she sees Messi Paris. Okay, let's see this. Yeah, so we have a so we want to make our um, class. Should be text of yeah semi bold allergic text just extra large 
no this is not a this font okay yeah so we've done that uh i think there's a padding here so let's do yeah we got padding top of two i think this one is too large let's do nd medium load okay good so let's go ahead and do the same thing for this one let's copy this and this is in london london and her name is Trisha louis Trisha louis okay yeah beautiful so the last thing i want to do is just this last part here so which is just let us add the div and let's see yeah so there's a padding there's a padding of four then image which is a uh, one dot gpg so let's save that and see so we have the image the last one that we have to do class rounded large let's use this extra large <laughs> it is actually extra large so let's do for excel oh sorry don't like that to excel okay let's stick with this to excel good then let's do height of because you know this height is actually the is like this so let's do height of um, 16 and let's see what happens still with things the same height of 40 okay so now let's do width of 60 19 maybe yeah so if that doesn't work let's just leave it and let's just object object cover uh yeah so basically yeah so this one is up so we built this ui not exactly how it is but we're able to just achieve the same thing using time tss all right so if you want more this tutorial in the next video it's going down below and let's see you next time and you can see also on our system it doesn't look bad you know you just have to make some configuration on it all right so basically this is mobile first uh yeah we nailed it see you next time thanks for watching and uh goodbye